Hey guys, Dr. Brown here with Kubo Math coming to you from Tarlock City, Philippines. And tonight we have another one of these crazy problems that you guys like. This one is for the third graders. But you fourth through sixth graders, feel free to jump in. Hey, you seventh, eighth graders. It's good exercise for your mind. Okay, let's get after it here. We have B6A divided by A, and that equals 2B. <laughs> Crazy. All right, how do we always do these? Just begin. Walk through the process that you would normally do, and then see what shakes out. Okay, 2 times A equals B6. That's very informative. <laughs> okay. Two times, I'm going to use a dot for multiplication. Two times A equals B6. Well, what do I know about this? Now, keep in mind, we're just using integers. So each one of these is a 0 through 9. 0 through 9. Of course, you can't divide by zero, so I know A cannot be zero. And then if B were zero, B times A, it would, wouldn't equal A, it would equal zero. So B is not zero either. So one through nine are my options. Now, what do I realize when I say two times A equals B6? Two times some number gives me a two-digit number. Well, what are the multiples of two? One times two equals two. Well, that's a single-digit number. Two times two equals four. Three times two equals six. Four times two equals eight. Five times two equals ten. Ah, now I finally get into a two-digit number. So I know two times a single digit number, if it's going to give me a two digit number, this number has to be five or greater. It also has to give me the, the digit in the ones column a six. Well, let's keep going. Six times two equals 12, seven times two equals 14, none of those are a six. Eight times two equals 16, ah, nine times two equals 18. Now you may think, ah, well, 10 times two equals 20, but also uh, 13 times two equals 26. That's a six in the ones column. That's very true. However, that's a 13. 13, that's two digits. A is a single digit. A cannot be greater than nine. So that caps off the numbers that I can use. It's between five and nine. Well, which number is in here gives me times two gives me the ones digit, that's a six. It's eight. So it appears to be that A equals eight. Hmm. We think that's what A is. Okay, now then, B times A, well, let me back up. We have Two times A is B6. B6 minus B6 is zero. We bring down the A, okay? B times A equals A. Well, now you've studied the identity property. If you have some number, in our case, B times A equals A, for that to happen, B has to be 1. 1 times A equals A. So by use of the identity property, we can say that B equals 1. 
So what does all of that give us? All right. Let's see what we have here. We have 168, 168 divided by 8. Okay, 16 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. Bring down the 8. Okay, 8 will go into 8 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So it appears to be that A equals 8, B equals 1. So you third graders, practice up, and the rest of you practice too. Why are we doing this? Together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. Keep studying, guys, okay? And then you parents, link up with your local school and see what these students need. Talk to the teachers, the principal, and let's help these kids. All right, that's all for now. Thank you.